Hello and welcome back to Obsidian Order. So, it's been a couple of days, it's been more than a couple of days, it's been about a week, and I have uh, undertaken this massive job of doing the Foundling Hospital London, and this was built in nine, nope, not 19, 1747. And uh, yes, I know you've seen a, an absolute ton of diorite to start off with, but don't worry other blocks are added to it so a little bit of background story about why i chose a founding hospital and uh, a little bit of background story about what is the founding hospital because it's no longer there it's uh, it's now just a charity uh, it's no longer a hospital as such it still does lots of great work in the london community and uh, for young people and uh, yes it does wonderful work anyway the Founding Hospital. Uh, it was established pretty much over 200 years ago, 1739, by Thomas Cor Corum. And now it's basically the Corum Charity uh, that now runs it. Um, and this was established to care for babies at risk of abandonment. See, back then in basically the you know 1740s 1750s london was having a massive boom time so lots of money was in there we were basically global industry leaders uh, and uh, there was a massive influx of people and the population in london absolutely exploded but with that comes well lots of different problems as well and quite quickly basically uh, poverty rose very very sharply and unfortunately the, the the people who suffered the most were children uh, and um, thomas thomas corum coming back from america where he made his fortune saw this and he was not happy so he petitioned the king uh, and that was king george ii for a royal charter to set up an actual children's hospital uh, and bear in mind back then there's no such thing as well there was no such thing as a children's hospital this would one of, this would be one of the first ones um to have ever been built to be dedicated just for children and young people now basically the reasons why this was because london was disease ridden it was massively pol pol polluted and uh, uh, probably at its height there was around about a thousand children per year were being abandoned just in london alone so this was a massive massive problem um and uh, thomas Corum, as well as quite a few other very very well-known people of the time william hogarth uh, and uh, george frederick handel yes that handel who made uh, uh who's made lots and lots of music and stuff uh, wanted to basically try to fund this and they were basically they were massive supporters of Thomas Corum uh, and uh, yeah absolutely wonderful job he did so on March the 25th 1741 the very first 30 babies were admitted to the foundling hospital 18 boys and 18 girls and this started um, almost basically 200 years of caring for children and babies uh, and I think it was something like over 25,000 children were cared for at the Foundling Hospital which is unbelievable um, especially at a time where basically it was not really it was not the trendy thing to do it was, it, was, it was not really seen as the thing to do you know care for children from a, a poverty background uh, it was pretty much seen as not their problem not their responsibility but uh, Thomas Corum saw things differently uh, and uh, luckily for a lot of uh, for a lot of youngsters it made a, a lot of difference to them so a quick explanation explanation from me about why was it called the foundling hospital now foundling is a historical term applied to children usually babies who have been abandoned by their parents and then discovered and cared for by others so the strict definition is the reason why they called it the foundling hospital See, unfortunately, abandoned children were not unusual at all in the 18th century. Uh, but um, basically, un unfortunately, the UK was quite, quite far behind the rest of Europe, where Europe basically had the Catholic Church and Catholic-run institutions, which basically used to care for children. Um, unfortunately, we, we did not. 
Uh, by the early 1700s, the situation for struggling parents was it was it was getting really really quite bad in London uh, because of the massive amount of economic migration from the countryside, so from the outlying regions of London, everyone just poured straight into London. And unfortunately, a lot of mothers weren't able to care for their children uh, because of poverty and, unfortunately, illegitimacy. Now, Ill- illegitimacy back then, it was, you know, it was like a mark of death, you, you know, to have a child out of wedlock um, was seen as basically such a bad thing um, back in the 1700s. Now, t- you know, today's day and age, basically, <laughs> Tuesday basic marriage is seen as basically quite an old, old-fashioned thing. Um, but you know, this is a modern day and age, and so this is not, you know, this is not what is, thank God, happens these days. But back then, it was, a, it was a massive, massive deal. And uh, yeah, Mister, Mister. Mr. Coram, uh, after returning from America, um, he basically saw the plight of the children and he campaigned for over 17 years to get a royal chargeship to establish a founding hospital. Uh, and the main job for it was for the care and maintenance of young children. So, uh, yeah, that's the reason why it was called the founding hospital. Now, unfortunately, the building, um, well, unfortunately, the building did not last um it lasted a good i think it was until 1950s and then unfortunately it was pulled down and the building was such a beautiful building i mean even before the 1950s the building had become so stretched for its resource and it was it was just far too small and given the extreme pollution still in london um they they basically built a new place uh, out, out in the countryside um for children um and uh, yeah, this place was closed down. But uh, yes, it run for quite a long time. <clears throat> On a more current, up-to-date swing, um, in 2019, the Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, became patron of the Foundling Museum, because it's a Foundling Museum now, which can still be visited. Now, I will link in the description, basically, a link to the Foundling Museum, and if I can do, I'll try to link in, basically, the link for the Corum Charity as well. And if you want to have a closer look at, basically, what they're all about, um, you know, feel free to do. But, yeah, I've really enjoyed this. I really, really have. Um, For me, a lot of times, basically, the research part of it, um, I enjoy as much as the building part. Building the buildings, I really do. En- I do enjoy because I'm, 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 I'm better at following like an architectural drawing uh, and an actual existing drawing than I am basically coming up with my own imagination, which sometimes struggles a little bit. Um, but I, I did, I did, I did really enjoy doing this actual build, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing more historical builds. And I think that should take us quite nicely into back to live on the server. Uh, and I'll show you around the actual build and how it is sitting now. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, spending some time and listening to my little story. And uh, I'll see you in just a second. All right. So I do hope you enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse and a bit of an explanation into the Founding Hospital. This is live on the server now, so what do you think? I love this build. I'm really, really proud of how it's turned out, uh, how it's finished up looking. Um, really, really super happy. Like I said, and, I, and like I said, basically, I know it's amazingly diorited out to start off with, the start of the build, but... It's only in pockets now, and I've basically introduced a lot more quartz and the brick quartz as well, and some calcite. And uh, unfortunately, I wanted a really, really dark wood floor, and unfortunately, dark oak is as dark as it goes. But I wouldn't have minded like um, like the vintage story ebony. Oh, that would have been lovely, uh, just to contrast it nicely. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll I'll have a little fly around and I'll show you the root tops and the reason why I went for basically this color. So. I was um, a tiny bit perplexed when I was basically building this because a lot of the actual pictures are either artist renderings, so basically what an artist at the time maybe did, fucking here, skeletons. Anyway, uh, it's either an artist picture of, of what they maybe thought of, you know, what, what the roof was like, and there was multiple ones. So I, I just went with the most common, common roof color and it was red 
Uh, there's a few blue roofs, a few dark roofs, and there's more red roofs. So I thought, man, I'm going to stick with the red roof. And pretty much all the pictures that I could find pretty much showed the building as a white building or a cream building. And there's no cream blocks in Minecraft. I went with white and... Uh, yeah, this uh, <laughs> trials and tribulations of this. When you walk in here, and you've got Foundling Hospital, and we've got some lights on. That's quite nice. Now, I have used end rods because uh, I've not put all the lanterns out. I just needed to light up the area a little bit just to stop any mobs from uh, mobs from spawning. But unfortunately, mobs are still spawning. What's our next job? Well, our next job is basically the actual this bit here this bit leading in because what i need to do first off i need to basically break out this block here uh, and it needs to basically at least be a pathway so there's a pathway leading down from outside and the outside is separated by gates as well so we need to do a pathway down here and i also want a pathway to join up with this one over here so what i will probably do because this is the road and this is the pathway I don't want to use this as my pathway inside, but I do want to expand the road out. So what I'm tempted to do is just bring this right up a little bit. So I'm thinking all the way over here. And then we can have the road just basically starting here. Because from the pictures from I can see, it's basically a roadway outside. Uh, it's almost like a dirt roadway. And then inside, there's like a little pathway that's leading down as well. And there's, there's a big gate system. I'm probably not going to do the gate system. I'm probably just going to do the build itself, even though the gates are pretty massive. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, more more things to do. But this is just the last bits and pieces of it. So, and you know, this kind of doesn't really, really, really bother me too much. The fact that it's just these last bits and pieces. Whilst, uh, I, whilst I was doing this though, it's been great for my sugarcane farm. And I've been thinking about, but, so do you remember um, a few episodes ago when I visited some fire's base uh, and he said we can open up a shop there? Well, I was thinking, how about something that people, what people always want, which is fireworks. Because as I'm building here, my sugarcane farm has been obviously been working over here. So let's have a little nausea. Now, I did basically spy uh, cr um, Cranky here the other day because he was uh, being naughty and he was shooting things at me. Uh, <laughs> oh, wowzers, look at this. Jeez, that's all the sugar cane. Right, so yeah, so what I'm, I think I'm going to do is just a firework, a firework shop. So we've got that one and I've got that one as well. Yeah, I think a firework shop would be quite sweet because I've got, I've got plenty of access to gunpowder because we have obviously a, a gunpowder farm. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to basically pop over to um, some fires and what's uh, like this? How about we just go now, eh? Make it nice and easy. There we go. I'm gonna pop through. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is basically just popping over to, obviously, the shop that he's granted us, which I think is over here. Oh, wow. Right, right in a smush. So what have we got here? Bojangles and Sun. Um, I think mine's over here. Is it? No, it's not it. That Bobbits. I think it might be Bobbits. Got a speed running. Hey, speed running. Hey. So we've got uh, furniture. It's probably spoilers here, so I'll, I will not basically cast my eye over it too much. Uh, we've got something about villages there. I can't remember where mine is. I'm going to have a chat with somebody to see if I can basically find where my shop is. And then I'm going to open up a um, firework shop because everyone always needs fireworks. It's one of those things, isn't it? We always need power. Is this it? Mm, that's not it. Uh, is it near? How do we get back? <laughs> is that it? Yay, cool, good stuff. Yeah, I'll have a chat with some pie to see basically where my shop is. Oh, and, if, and I don't suppose you noticed. Did, did, did you notice the beacon in the background? That's right. I have... Um, 
Uh, beating the wither, all legitimate like. No, I didn't. I, I went to the end and cheated it <laughs> because. Come on, fly. There we go. It's actually quite nice at night, my place. This really is because obviously you got the obviously a lot of the dark patches of uh, obviously where I've not lit it up, but then you got you have the build which are lit up, so it looks super nice at night. Oh wow, look at that! Doesn't it look nice at night? I mean, it's lethal. Don't get me wrong; it is really lethal. I don't know how much this shows up on the old YouTubes. Oh, with spiders and skeletons and all types of baddies. Ouch! <laughs> There's a wall there. Let's go inside. Let's sleep. Huh? Should we sleep? We'll go into the corner. That way no one's going to get me. So I've had a ton of fun the last couple of weeks. I don't know. I think about a week. A week and a bit been doing this project far I, I am surprised because i have never built out a diorite either so i was uh, I'm, i was a bit surprised that i went with diorite because uh, it's not usually a block that i choose but this this worked really really well let me know in the comments and stuff what you firstly think of the build uh and you know what you think of the, like the block palette I've used, I've used diorite which is you know for a lot of people it's a big no-no is he coming over here he's dead good stuff Oh yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you have to let me know, um, you know, what you think of it all. What you think of the actual build, uh, and uh, and uh, next one, I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm gonna basically do a little bit of uh, uh, team stuff. I'm gonna be linking up with a few people. Uh, Cranky's got something in mind in relation to his self-built uh, trial chamber, so he's he's taking a. Yes, you have to check out Cranky's channel. So, in his last video, he took over tri a trial chamber. He literally demolished the whole thing and then rebuilt a new trial chamber with a lot of different things and stuff. So, I'm really looking forward to playing on that. It looks a ton of fun. So, I, I'm going to link up with Cranky in the next episode for that. And uh, and I'll, uh, I'll have a think. I'll have a think of another build. If you've got any ideas for builds, though, just leave them in the comments down below. Remember, basically, it's the, it's the Industrial Revolution time period. So so you're looking around about 1730s, 1740s, up until around about the 1820s, 1830s, 1840s. So you got around about a hundred year time span of bills. So that's Georgian and Victorian. But yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. And uh, I think it's going to do it for me for today. All right, guys. Bye, bye for now. Bye.